Hey, good morning everyone. I'm out here at Upper Kananaskis Lake today. Going to try to do the Mount Liotti Summit. I attempted to do this back in the winter, but I ran into some problems with the weather. So hopefully today's the day, but I got a new phone, so I'm all back to business as usual. And the van's been running good. Uh, the check engine light came on last night. I don't know Why? what that's all about. I might have to uh, pick up a code reader one of these days. But I'm going to get myself all outfitted here like a swamp donkey, and I'll see you out on the trail. Just a short bike ride today. Time to start hiking. This is definitely not toque weather. I'm uh, definitely gonna have to shed a layer soon. This uh, this is a 25 kilometer total round trip. If I got time, I'll try to do Mount Putnik as well. But I know on Liotti, there's a few tricky uh, scrambling bits, time consuming, but uh, definitely if I got time, I'll try to do both. So this is where I uh, lose the trail. I start bushwhacking now. And you can almost see the summit up there. There must be a forest fire nearby. There's a lot of helicopters going past. But I've been working a lot on my pronunciation since that last episode. And I think I finally got it all together. It's a halajala fajino. The next time I make up a guacamole, I'll be sure to mix some of those in with it. And all together, that'll make a really good Tulio Campagnolo. As soon as I get my microphone back, <laughs> it sounds going to be all helicopters in the background. This is the first scramble that I was talking about. I got to make my way up through there. There's a few tricky moves that I got to do. You just gotta love how pronounced all the layers of rock are out here. But that is Mount Liotti, and I don't fully understand the route up there. And maybe I've made a big mistake. I didn't bring my crampons. If I have to cross that snow, I could be in trouble. Doesn't look like I'll need the crampons today. There was this hidden scree ramp that I'm just following up. Looks like it'll go all the way. This is the best horn coral fossil I've ever seen. I'm tempted to keep it, but if I take it away from here, then everyone else who comes up here won't get to see it. Where it belongs. Whoa! <laughs> it says the first descent was back in 1933 by Kay Gardner and W. Foes. Then I uh, recognized this name, Andrew Nugara. He wrote a bunch of books on scrambling in the Rockies. He was here in uh, July 09. And then there's Dr. Phil in Vern Duet. That's where I downloaded this GPS track from. It's surprising there's not that many names in this uh, logbook. We got Mount Putnik over there. I think I'm gonna pass on that for today. Defender Mountain. And that big glaciated peak is uh, Mount Joffrey. I've been considering doing that one. There's Mount Surreal. Upper Kananaskis Lake, and that's where my van is. I checked the codes and it said something about the idle control motor valve stuck open and that's this part right here. Um, so now I'm just going to try to pop the belt off. I got a 
3 8 ratchet on the tensioner. Um, yeah, this is bigger surgery than I'm comfortable with. Hopefully I don't strand myself here, but uh, we'll see what I can do. Okay, here we go. Attempting to remove the serpentine belt. Got it. I think I got it. Okay. All right, that's helpful. Okay, so far so good. I uh, popped the belt off here. I just pushed on this clockwise. Start removing pieces left and right. I think this is just some kind of belt guard. I'm gonna drop it off and hopefully I can move this uh, steering pump out of the way. I got it, I think I got it. Yeah, 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 I got it. Apparently that's the culprit. I hope it's not just stuck open because this is dirty, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it in. Is it in this way? <laughs> it's all the way back on. Alright everyone, we're going to do an old fashioned Walmart parking lot cookout tonight with the crock pot. going to make a chicken pizzoli. Sometimes it's hard to find all the authentic ingredients that I need, so this is what I went with. Got a halajala, El Nino, some garlic, green pepper, onion, chicken broth. It asks for uh, hominy, hominy, hominy. I just got niblets, that's all I could find. And the main event, chicken breast. Actually the, the crock pot's the main event. And uh, I'll link to the rest of the specifics in the description below if you want to try this out yourself. And it is September, so that marks two years of me living in this minivan. That also marks two years of me wearing this hoodie. A true minimalist only needs one shirt. I'm just going to speed up the process today. I'm going to cook the chicken breast first on the frying pan, then uh, we'll load everything into the crock pot later. And I think we'll do like an hour on high or something. Uh, I don't want to completely drain my battery here in the city, and uh, it's really cloudy out, so I'm not getting any solar. All right, that's all set, and now we wait. All right, you guys, crock pot's ready, and I got a guest with me tonight. This looks amazing. I'm not just saying that, because there's a camera on. Okay, so, cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Well, I think the van's finally running good again. I was worried something was wrong with the new transmission, but uh, since I put that new idle control motor in, it seems to be running better, and uh, let's hope this doesn't become a common theme of putting new parts in every single video. But I'm gonna go for a hike today with my friend Chris. We're gonna try for the summit of Commonwealth Peak. So enjoy the hike, and thanks for watching. Thanks for all your uh, generosity and support, and I'll see you in the next video.